hello hello everyone and welcome back welcome to a sunday evening in our home i just put the child down to bed it is 7 30 and it is did i say this already it is a sunday it's a sunday night and i thought i would pop on and film a quick little video because i spent all weekend decluttering this house it feels wonderful and so much has been organized cleaned and cleared out and it just feels stellar you know i'm sure you know um but as i was going around the house today and <laughs> cleaning i started to notice especially because we've been getting rid of so much stuff i started to notice that a lot of the stuff we were keeping um a lot of like the useful stuff and the storage pieces um are actually from the dollar store and i just started to notice throughout the day how much of our home is actually from the dollar store dollarama to be exact and i kind of thought i would just go around and show you what we use pretty much every single day that is from the dollar store that we actually really like because there's so much and the other thing i was thinking was i think every single one of the items that i've noticed so far is still available at the dollar store even though there are some things we bought years ago they seem to just be like the staples that are always there so yeah that is that's the plan i think this will be fun <laughs> let me know if you guys have any other favorites from the dollar store that i should check out as well let's get into it okay so first up since we're in the kitchen are these cutting boards so these are the bamboo cutting boards from dollarama they always have them i see them every time i go um my only suggestion is to so when you first get them they're like that very very orangey color that a lot of bamboo products are so all i did was i took a little bit of sandpaper i sanded them down i washed them and then i coated them with a little bit of mineral oil like cutting board mineral oil and it totally changed the way they look. They're a little more ashy, a little more subdued, and much more my style, but we use these constantly and they've held up really, really well. And these we've had for years at this point. Now moving on, um, a lot of our larger cooking utensils are actually from various dollar stores. Um, but these ones specifically, these Betty Crocker silicone spatulas, I pretty much use them for everything. Um, I cook a lot in my enameled cast iron and uh, these are just perfect for in there. So I have three of them and they're pretty much all I use. I should maybe just throw up a lot of what's in this drawer. This is all still to be decluttered, all of my kitchen drawers. And then I have a set of these little silicone spatulas as well, also from the dollar store. And these I just got like a month ago and I got three of them. And uh, Ro uses them a lot, but I mean, so do I as well for mixing and stuff. So love, love, love all of the silicone cooking utensils from the dollar store. So the other thing in the kitchen is these really, really large soup bowls we actually have a set of four of these and we get so much use out of them i think they were two or 250 each and i mean such a good deal we get a lot of pho we eat a lot of ramen and these are perfect for that but also i use them a lot to mix up um things when i'm baking they're just such a good size i use them pretty much every day Okay, so the other thing that we use all over our house mostly as drawer organizers are these plastic bins um, they always have these um, they do different colors depending on the time of year we mostly stick with the tan color and the white they have little handles so i can take them in and out and it's just so <laughs> i think these are 250 each at our dollarama and again we use them all throughout our house as drawer organizers and they just work so 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 well so the other thing we have a lot of in this house are these glass jars with the bamboo lids um, this one is looking a little worse for wear because it's 
so many years old and it like there's a lot of water touches it um so i probably will replace this one in a little bit but i just keep my cleaning scrub in it so i also have one of these in each bathroom um, under the bathroom sinks just because I like to keep my cleaning scrub in there as well and then I actually get these a lot to gift things in and they just these are such a solid buy you can use them in so many different ways and I love them <laughs> I love them I love them okay so now into our main floor bathroom um, a couple things in here are from the dollar store actually these little glass jars are from the dollar store we've had them for many many years i see them there all the time we just keep like some floss some cotton pads and some q-tips in it for guests because this is our guest bathroom as well as our just like our main floor bathroom and then the other thing that we got from dollarama are these hand towels so i actually got a set of four i keep my three backups rolled up back there and I don't know, I just really like them. I thought just like the pattern and how like fluffy they were, I felt like they seemed <laughs> fancier than your typical dollar store hand towel. So I'm, yeah, really, really pleased with these. And we've had these again for years and they always have nicer hand towels like this. You just have to keep an eye out and then grab them when you see them. Okay, so excuse the lighting guys, it is the evening. <laughs> so we're just working with the few little lamps we have in the living room but um two things on this side table are from dollarama so the first thing is this little plant pot i use this all over the house <laughs> for various purposes depending on the season um and right now it's just holding some faux winter greens this is some of my leftover <laughs> christmas decor that i haven't switched out yet but i really 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 like this pot sometimes i put real plants in it um, mostly in the summer <laughs> and then once those real plants die because I have a black thumb uh, then I will replace it with something faux but I really really like this it's very neutral I love that it's just a little bit textured and yeah I feel like it looks like something you'd find at anthropology so I'm a big big fan of that and then the other thing is just this little phone stand it's not the most beautiful but it's so flippin useful we have these all over the house i have one in my office we each have one on our bedside tables we have one in the kitchen one here and it's so so useful i love just popping my phone up here plugging it into charge in the evening and then having row up here because we use our phones as our baby monitors so we can check in on him while he's sleeping at night but it's just so so convenient and we get so much use out of these so the other thing we get at Dollarama are these little uh, baskets. They have them in all different colors. Um, we have a little white one over here and we fold them down just so he can easily see what's inside of them but they're actually quite tall and I love that they have handles. So we've got one here and then we do have some gray ones over here that we use to store and sort some of his toys. So this is how tall they actually are and they come in like blues and pinks and greens right now because we're coming up on Easter um, but throughout the rest of the summer I'm hoping they go back to having more gray and more white because I definitely want to pick <laughs> some more of these little baskets up they're just so so handy and they're so cute so the other thing I want to mention is kids books don't sleep on the kids books section if you have a toddler because oh my goodness we find some great stuff and it's mostly the old prints of things that are currently sold at chapters so all of these books i have seen at chapters these are the the little hippo books if you can see that and these are all at chapters for like eight to twelve bucks but we get them at dollarama for between two and four dollars this one has had some damage done to it but so many of these we found at Dollarama and then later on I see them at Chapters so such a good steal which one this is so unorganized but this is one of our favorites and this was from the dollar store so yeah don't sleep on that section check out the kids books <laughs> at your dollar store okay so moving into our master bathroom um these are from the dollar store we've had these for <laughs> oh my gosh like six six years I want to say and I still see them they do currently have like a smaller version of them 
Um, but I'm sure the big ones will come back at some point or something similar to it. But we just use these for our cotton pads and our Q-tips. And I really, really like them. I feel like they look more high-end than they actually are. I also do have dreams of doing like a mercury glass treatment on them. So that's that was my original plan when I bought them. And I just never got around to it. But I still want to do it. So you might see that DIY coming in the future. Because I think that would look really nice in here. I think it would look nice. It would complement our mirror maybe. And then not to show you my garbage. But I totally forgot that these little wicker baskets that we use as garbage cans... Um, in our bathrooms and in our laundry room. These are also from Dollarama and they do currently have them again. I just saw them there the last time I was at Dollarama and I just, I mean, they're such a great size. They're bigger than what you normally find at Dollarama and just like a cheap little wicker basket, but perfect as a little garbage can. Oh my gosh, another thing I just realized is this little contraption here that hooks over the cabinet door it just has like a little spot for your hair dryer and then a little basket attached and I put all of my like hair towels in here and I mean that we've had for years I do see them at the dollar store all the time but we get so much use out of that and it's lasted a really long time and I think it was maybe four dollars at the dollar store because I mean let's be real the dollar store isn't really the dollar store anymore but I see these kinds of things all the time at like home sense for like 15 to 20 dollars so i felt like that was that was a good deal just as i was about to leave our bedroom my eye caught our laundry baskets and i realized that these two are from dollarama so i got four of these um in two different patterns so we know which ones are sean's and which ones are mine doesn't really matter but it's nice to have a matching ones these are just like a coated fabric sorry it's so dark in here guys um it's like a fabric collapsible laundry bag but it's like plastic coated in the inside and the handles man these are so convenient and i think they were four dollars each and we've had these probably for actually i got them when i was pregnant so years now going on three years they've held up really well we use them constantly so yeah another great dollar store find okay guys so that is that those are some of my absolute favorite most used dollarama finds from i mean i would say they're all really recent because i'm pretty sure you could probably find 98 percent of these items at the dollar store right now but yeah these are my most recent most loved Dollarama finds and I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know uh, some of your favorite Dollarama items down below and how you use them because I'm very curious to know especially if you repurpose things for your toddlers. I would love to know more about how you do that. But yeah that is all for me today. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Give it a like if you did. Subscribe if you want to keep hanging out and I will see you in my next video which should be up on Friday. Bye guys.